Year. We're going to go on a short tour of the art room, uh, show you some of the new things about the art room and some of the things you already know. All right, our first stop is the tables in the art room. We have six tables. Each one is labeled with a number. Um, the tables are a little bit different this year. I turned a couple of them to give us a little bit more room on the floor. Each table has five stools. In the middle of your table, you will see that all of the stools are numbered one through five, and then it also has your art job on there as well. And we'll go over these art jobs a little bit more the next few weeks so you know more about them. At each table, just like last year, there is a bin for supplies. The top drawer has glue sticks, scissors, erasers, and pencils. The second drawer has markers and crayons. And then the third drawer is where we are going to store our sketchbooks. Third, fourth, and fifth grade will store their sketchbooks at the table. Kinder, first and second, I'm gonna store the sketchbooks in a different spot. Over here, we have our yo-yo centers. So those of you that were with me last year know that whenever you're done with an art project, you can come choose something over here. Yo-Yo stands for you're on your own. Um, I've added a few new ones this year. These have our Legos and straws and connectors, magnet blocks and regular blocks. We also have books, whiteboards, and then drawing books if you wanna do some free drawing. You're welcome to come over here and sit on the carpet and read a book, or you can come over here and work on one of the yo-yo scenes. Okay, moving along in the art room, we come over here to Mona Lisa. Behind Mona Lisa, I store a lot of art supplies, also a lot of art supplies in this cabinet right here. Um, those are for me to access unless I tell you you can. Sometimes I tell you you can come over here and get the oil pastels or get the chalk pastels, but otherwise these two areas right here you're just going to leave alone. Okay, next we have the recycle bin. So things that you can recycle in here, paper, cardboard, um, mostly we put a lot of paper in here. So make sure you're using this trash can if you're ever needing to throw something away that can be recycled. If it cannot, your other trash cans, come with me over by the sink. Your other trash cans are over here. This is where you are gonna throw away any brown paper towels. And then there's also a trash can close to the front door of the art room next to the pencil sharpener. There's another trash can. Okay, moving down our long counter, we come to our sink all the paint brushes where you're gonna wash your hands, you'll wash your hands. We'll talk whenever we need to wash hands, we'll talk about how we're gonna line up. Right over here is the paper towels in the trash can. I will have an area for tiny towels again this year. That's going to be the job of my number twos is to make sure the tables are clean. Hey, okay, over here we have the drying racks. 
The drying racks are where you put artwork that is wet or maybe has glue on it. You'll notice that the drying rack has table numbers. So whatever table you're sitting at, that's where you're going to put your artwork. Okay, moving on from the drying racks, right here we have the paint shirts. So if we are painting and you want to cover your clothing, you can come over here and get a shirt um, and then just put it back when you're done. Okay, the lines on the floor, these are mostly for my younger kids, kindergarten and first grade. Um, but if we need to be together as a group, sit closer, then you'll come and sit on one of these lines on the floor. I also have another line over here by my desk. It's a red line. So I just ask that you stay behind the red line if you need to come up and talk to me or ask me a question. Um, the paper cutter is back there and I don't want anybody to get hurt. Okay, on the board over here we have our I can statements just like last year. So when you come in the art room and sit down, you can look up see what our I can statement is for the day, have a good idea about what is going on. Okay, our pencils are gonna be located in a little bit of a different spot. Here is the door to the art room. And then right over here, I have this black filing cabinet. It has the pencil sharpener, has two cups, one that says sharp and one that says dull. And we'll talk more about how this is going to work in the next couple of weeks. Also, this black basket, I'm gonna have free draw paper in this black basket. So that's where you'll find the extra free draw paper. Okay, last but not least, leaving the art room. So we have our line on our floor. It's a little, looks a little bit different than last year, but this is where we will line up. Hopefully the feet give it um, a clear idea of where to stop and turn your line since we have to turn our line a couple of times to get everybody there to go out the door.